we're looking at a brand new piano app. Now, you may be aware that there is the Grand Piano AUV3. It's a very cool app. It's like $2 and you can buy it on the App Store. The one we're looking at here today is a new version of that. It's version 2. It's a $4.99 app and uh, I've not used it before. So you and I are going to use it together here for the first time on the show, which is always exciting slash dangerous. So what we'll do is we'll come in here to an external instrument here in GarageBand. We're going to grab this one, the Grand Piano AUV3. Now, I actually kind of dig the original piano in GarageBand. When I want a really high-end piano, I use Clevgrand's, um, no, not Clevgrand, I use a Ravenscroft 275, uh, which is one that our, my friend Thomas Galane put me onto a long time ago. But if you want a piano that's somewhere in between, that's not going to cost you the $30, $40 for, for Ravenscroft, but is also probably a little more customizable or a lot more customizable than the original GarageBand piano. This looks like a pretty good option. So let's uh, come in here. That's pretty nice. And we've got a bunch of different things that we can play around here with. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to create a little bit of a song here because it's Halloween. I'm going to create a bit of a creepy song. So what do we need for a creepy song? Well, we need a creepy, uh, creepy key signature. So we're going to go A minor. Why? Because A minor has the most white notes and Pete's not very good at piano, especially when I'm reaching over and playing on a touch screen. So we're going to bring it into A minor here so that we're going to have some consistency here. Let's um let's get our tempo. So we're going to do do, 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 do. We want a little sort of creepy, jaunty song. So we're going to go 60, uh, 76 on the, uh, the time signature there, on the, the tempo. And... Let's do a bit of this, shall we? So we'll record this in. Now, it's an AUV3 plug-in, meaning that we can actually use it here right within GarageBand, and it will record it as MIDI, which makes it super handy. So let's hit the record button and see how Pete goes recording in here. All right, we'll go with that for now. Let's see what that performance was like. We'll come back out here to our track view, and you can see if you've not used an external instrument here, it looks just like a regular keyboard. So if we come here, in fact, we'll do some direct comparisons, shall we? This is always fun. So we'll grab keyboard, and we'll go directly in here to the regular piano by going keyboards, and then so many pianos in here. We'll go with the, uh, the classical grand from GarageBand. So you can hear there that it's... It's a different tone straight off the bat. So it's a softer kind of tone on that original one. And when we play the grand piano here, it's more of a, uh, yeah, more, more sort of reverberant tone there. So if we come in here, we can actually change the settings that we had after we've actually put that in. So let's come in here and start playing with some of these dials, shall we? So first of all, we've got a volume dial here. So we could just turn the volume up or down. And then we've got our attack uh, a, D, S, R, attack, delay, decay, sustain, and release. So on a piano, you normally want the attack right up the top there. We can add a bit more sustain here. So that gives the notes a little bit more of that sustain-y feel there. We've then got a tremolo. We can change the rate here and then the depth. Well, that could be kind of cool. For our creepiness, we've got a stereo widener here. Oh, hello. If you're listening on headphones, you just heard that go super wide. So there's it in the middle, and then we'll go wide. Oh, it puts it out to the edges. Yeah, nice. So let's come in here. We've got tuning. Now, Thomas has just noticed this, and I've noticed it as well. Uh, tuning is interesting. So this one, oh, look at that. We can go by number of cents. <gasps> this is going to really impress the uh, the 432 hertz crowd because you could technically... Now, I can't remember exactly how many you have to go down uh, of the semitone, but if we listen to this, like we'll, we'll adjust the tuning. We'll play it and we'll adjust the tuning as we go. <laughs> so that's minus 100 cents, which is a whole semitone. So you can hear there that it's... So you can actually take it down just a few cents, which I think... Uh, what is it? 440 to uh, 432. It is 8 cents, I think, that you go down. Oh, 
Can you can you dial it in? Can we just tap it there? If there's a way, I'm not sure if there's a way to actually just tap and dial in the exact number you want. That's usually the problem with these sort of things. If there is, I apologise. If someone's used this and they know that you can, let me know. But it looks like there would be a way there to tune it, which can be handy. Like if you're playing along to something and you want to tune it, uh, you want to tune the notes. Can we double tap? Yeah, double tap back to zero is always good there. Uh, we've got some auto pan here, which is pretty interesting. So let's play around with this. There's our rate. Here's our depth. Oh, there you go. You got a bit of that. Auto pan. Very cool. And then we've got uh, a filter here. So we can adjust our frequency, our cue setting, and then our mix here. So that's pretty cool. There you go. You can, you can filter it there. And then you get that more sort of subtle sound. A little bit more like that. I don't love that auto pan. I'm going to turn that off again. There we go. So you can hear how, see how it's a bit harsh there. We can add this filter. And then you go back there. So if we come back in here and we compare this again. So the beauty part about doing this with an AUV3 is we can then copy this one. And uh, if we paste it down here in the original piano, uh, you can see here. Now in the original piano, of course, you can use all of your different plugins and EQs and effects. But you can do the same thing on this one. You can still add compression and all your other effects that you want to to your AUV3. But you get that control inside the instrument as well. Whereas when you come to the regular classical grand, you don't have that control. So uh, here is the original original classical grand. Let's take a listen. And then let's take a listen to the uh, the grand piano AUV3. Different kind of sound, isn't it? But you can definitely come in here and uh, and adjust it and change it to your heart's content, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, look, it's a, it's a basic, simple piano sound, but having that amount of control uh, is really, really cool. Now, I'm not sure if there are actually presets. Let's see if there's any included presets. I don't, I can't see a, a way to, to change that. So there's our sounds. Uh, we can save in a user preset like so, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, maybe uh, Jade was saying that she's uh, looking at this at the moment. So uh, maybe there is a way to cancel that. Maybe there is a way to, to use some presets, but uh, I don't know. I think it's good. I think it's a gateway between that, between something like a, a, Clev Gra a, a Ravenscroft uh, 275. And if you've just, you know, you don't want to spend that 30 bucks, but you want a more, uh, more flexible piano sound that you can actually play around with a bunch of stuff, then you can use this. We have a chorus here as well. I didn't even play with this. Chorus is always cool. <laughs> Let's try this. Oh, wow. <laughs> we might leave the chorus off there, but yeah, you got chorus sound if you want there. And then we got reverb, so we can go with like the size of your reverb. And then let's add some big reverb to this mix. Oh, wow. So that's actually not a bad sound. That's not a bad sound for um for this. So we're working on this creepy song. And again, the other advantage over using something that's going to record it in as, a, um, as an audio trying to get the words, interrap audio, is that we can adjust this. So if we wanted to change, so I'm like, oh, that's a bit slow. We actually want this to be up at maybe around uh, 90 BPM. We change that and then it can actually change it. So everything changes for you which is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, for those asking, uh, thank you, Jade, who's put the link there. There is a link down in the description of this video to where you can go and pick it up. Uh, it is called Grand Piano AUV3 number two.